Eyes of target, I repeat, eyes of target. Wow, look at those sexy lower boots. Can't catch my breath. I'm way out of fucking shape. How the Chris Costa is doing it? And looking so sexy in that beard. No wonder Travis Halley had a crush on him. <gasps> okay, fuck it. Hi guys, so what I have here is a Czeska Zbrojownia Scorpion Evo 3SO1 straight from the Czech Republic. Uh, by the way, I can almost hear people in the Czech Republic saying, oh shit, Rab has got a Scorpion Evo. What's going to happen next? Don't worry, folks, don't worry. By the way, hi, Martina. Anyhow, going back to the Scorpion Evo. Fantastic, so far it's fantastic performance. Uh, zero malfunctions, we, have, uh, we were running mainly steel cased wolf ammo because it was the cheapest one at that time when I purchased it and I had zero malfunctions. Uh, it takes everything, it eats them up from, from any kind of magazines. As you can see, this is the newest generation Mac with a beef up feeding lips. Uh, but I'm also still running and using those smoked magazines and uh, no issues, it fits from everything, from 30 rounds, uh, 32 rounds uh, or, uh, or 20 rounds magazines without any, any problems. Speaking about the magazines, big thanks to the Copper Customs and uh, to the guys from Prepper Gun Shop. They donated magazines and that means only one thing, we're going to run five thousand rounds tests on this uh, carbine. It should be fun and it should give us a really detailed view into the inside how this uh, carbine is looking like after the extended mileage. So this is what's going to come and this is what's going to happen. For now I just want to let you know that this is an absolutely amazing value in my eyes. You can purchase them from like I found this in my local local store for around thousand uh, dollars in the flat dark earth uh, you can get the black ones a little bit cheaper but basically the whole setup is included except the Cyclops uh, for the Cyclops I put the Cyclops on it and I uh, I think it was a really good decision this Optic 1X, a little bit more than 1X, Optic Prism works perfectly fine. It's all about the speed and it jellies perfectly with this carbine. Uh, tons of fun. Going back to the front end, as you can see how they have a pre-made M-Lock uh, slots. So any kind of M-Lock accessories, even the basic rail or the forward grips, or if you wanna put the QD attachments for the sling, everything hooks up to it without any issues and you can use it any way you want it. So the front end is polymer by the way. Uh, speaking about the uh, inside, the guts will go back to this in a second. Stock is folding, that's included as well. As you can see, there you go guys, and it locks, it locks from this side. So uh, it is sturdy construction. Uh, I was running a different, uh, you know, drills and everything, and I never had an issue with this stock folding on me during the shooting or anything uh, like that. Uh, so, so far so good. Of course, you can set up this any way you want it. You got, uh, you know, range of adjustments how for the length of pull how you want to run it it's up to you uh, and uh, this stack is working so far so good I'm really happy with it uh, some of you may ask how I managed to get this AK lever style uh, on that uh, carbine this is uh, from HB Industries I have also included the uh, extended mag release and the trigger and of course the charging handle all from the HB Industries. Uh, these guys uh, make it, it easy and changing the accessories on this gun is absolutely fun if you like punching out the roll pins and things like this this is the gun for you but enough with the bullshit talk let me pull out the magazine We'll see how the guts are looking like inside. I want to show it to you guys. So basically, you are knocking out that pin. 
pulling out the trigger and this is the whole trigger mechanism and the trigger group. Uh, to remove it further away, you have to basically go with the set screws and remove the set screws uh, from the uh, remove the set screw from uh, the lever on one side you're pulling out the safety lever and then there is a screw at the bottom and the whole shell for the fire control group is walking out and you can work on it and do whatever you have to do or uh, for the basic maintenance you don't even have to do that because everything is exposed and i'm not kidding this is a basic like a mini lower receiver in your hand right and then we got the uh, whole bolt carrier system you may say and this is a blowback gas system so this whole thing cycles back and forward and to remove it you gotta press it down and you can pull out uh, the the whole mechanism as you can see you can call this a little recoil spring uh, with uh, with the little buffer at the end here is the extractor and uh, the extractor claw and uh, the bolt basically built into this massive chunk of metal so this is all cycling back and forward and feeding the rounds from the magazines so this is the inside of the rifle and as you can see that pin right here this is from the charging handle if you want to switch the sides on the charging handle you have to push out that pin and uh, then you have to press in like a dead end spring on the charging handle remove the charging handle you can switch it to the other side uh, so everything on this rifle is supporting both sides of the gun you can run it either way it will work or suit you uh, there's no uh, question or no problems with that and uh, looking inside the receiver this is what we will be looking uh, mainly when evaluating how this uh, carbine is performing in the long run uh, I want to see how this is withstanding uh, that extensive use how this is going to wear out we're going to report everything and then of course uh, the barrel and how the barrel is shooting and, uh, and, and you know uh, taking all these rounds counts so far I have to tell you that uh, this carbine is performing absolutely great uh, even as i said at the extended ranges you can easily easily shoot at the small plates and you can blast them away what i noticed too guys is a lot of guys is starting to run the hose in uh, uh, like a three gun competitions uh, because it's like cheating this this thing has absolutely no recoil uh, ola was shooting uh, with it from two and she absolutely loves uh, this uh, carbine a lot of a lot of fun and i think that the cz hit the sweet spot for the value what you're paying for it uh, you're getting an outstanding outstanding gun and you can have tons of fun and enjoy uh, shooting of course the ammo uh, you can get uh, as, as low as uh, 15 16 cents per round so if you need something to uh, do all those crazy CQB uh, drills. If you want to be like Chris Costa or whatever, uh, you are, uh, you know, you will have tons of fun with it. Uh, and since there is no recoil, you can control it really nicely and uh, do all the crazy ninja uh, shit tricks and have, uh, you know, a lot of satisfaction, basically. But that's pretty much it. This is how it's looking like. So this is like a welcome episode about the CZ Scorpion Evo. And as I said, stay tuned for the whole series we'll put it through a lot of stress we'll do all you know our standard tests uh, you will see this carbine swimming uh, dancing with the sand and things like this so stay tuned thanks for being with us do not forget to support AKOU check the store online uh, support us on the patreon we are very grateful for your support thanks guys You boys wanna go to Mexico?